Good morning and happy Friday. It is now 613. This is what it looks like around Altoona this morning. We're starting off frosty and foggy. It is freezing. This is our coldest morning so far this season. So I hope you have the ice scraper ready to go. We're talking a light north wind. Thankfully today we could see a few spotty sprinkles by early this afternoon, but that's really it and it will turn soggy on Sunday and that's when I'm seeing some more measurable rain and that's when it will turn windy again too. Right now in West Des Moines 34 degrees is the current temperature, but notice the winds right now are out of the northwest calm and so it doesn't feel a whole lot colder like it did yesterday. We do have some reduced visibility around Ankeny, but definitely our thickest fog is coming out of southwest Iowa this morning, and it's the coldest around Audubon. You're at 28 degrees, 32 in Carroll, 30 around Webster City, 32 in Marshalltown, and this afternoon we'll struggle to get back into the 50s. Our coldest readings will come out of northern Iowa, and this is where we'll see more clouds and those spotty sprinkles. Tomorrow we'll start off chilly just like this on Saturday morning. In the afternoon with some sunshine, we should get closer to 60 degrees. And then by Sunday, as I mentioned, it is looking wet. So this freeze warning will continue for areas in northern and western Iowa up until 9 a.m. And this is where it will mark the end of the growing season. A frost advisory around the city of Des Moines with lows closer to the freezing point. This is a mixed precipitation trying to make its way into the northern border of of the state. Most of it is falling apart, but again, we can't rule out those spotty sprinkles as there's another narrow band of moisture pushing in from the Dakotas that we will see by late morning, early this afternoon. The blue is indicating those sprinkles a few weak rain showers right around 1, 2, 3 p.m. After that, it looks dry. The clouds will break up. Temperatures will fall. Again, it will be dry in Ames tomorrow for the big game. This is all the rain pushing in from the south and west as early as Sunday morning. And it will continue to be heavy at times on and off throughout the day with some of the heaviest rain around the city of Des Moines by Sunday night and early on Monday. And rainfall totals may be a little bit overdone for the southern border of the state, but I really think a good part of the state will see a half inch to an inch plus by early Monday with the heaviest amounts in southern Iowa. By Monday afternoon, it looks dry once again. Tuesday will start off dry and we'll get another shot at rainfall through the state on Wednesday. Here's a look at the details for today. Again, we're starting off frosty, even foggy in parts of the state. Partly sunny for the most part. Now again, those spotty sprinkles I pointed out will occur early this afternoon. Highs in the 50s and tonight will fall to around 36. It is going to be a cold night at the football games and it will be a dry day in Ames for the homecoming festivities at 230 55 degrees at Jack Trice Stadium with an east wind fairly light. And it looks like on Sunday it will be cooler as a result of all the rain. We'll see rain early Monday, but dry again on Tuesday with the high of 60, Wednesday 58, and on Thursday right around 57 degrees. If you haven't already turned on the heat, you may want to do so. I did it yesterday and that funny smell happened in the house. You know how that like works. Like the furnace hasn't been running for a long time. Right, smell. one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today's Just change the filters. I'm not in charge Change of Change the filters. <laughs> it's above my pay grade at the house. I, it was probably time for above that. Above your pay grade. <laughs> Jeez, like you're not the boss. <laughs> I love it. Hey, today's weather rating is a four and you can see why with 50s, frosty, foggy, those spotty.